Hi everyone. We had a bit of a break in the rain yesterday, so I got to take my FT991A out to the New Forest to make this video for you. As you can see, it's quite small and compact, um, considering the size of the radio, and can be easily carried along with antennas by myself. I'd also put together a quick deploy antenna system, which I've made out of parts of various other antenna systems, which I'll talk about in a minute. So I'll now hand over to Mark from yesterday, who's going to put it all together so you can see how quickly we, c we can get our antenna and get the radio up and running on pretty much any of the ham bands. Right, so I'll now set up the portable field station. I've got the uh, field dislocation, field deploy antenna, I've got the chameleon spike. Make the counterpoise out of some DX command or DX10 wire, which is 10 meters. So I'll attach that onto the bottom of uh, this, which is an Alpha antenna. I think it's called an FMJ or something. I'm not sure anyway, but I had it anyway. That screws onto the bottom of there, and now I'm going to go over there, so you might not be able to hear me on the camera. the end of the line. goes into the LGG Z100 plus tuner there. Select the band. Find a quiet bit and tune the antenna. And that's it, ready to go. So in the case, I've got, uh, well we'll start with the tuners there. It's an LDG Z100 Plus, um, which I put in because the, the, although the radio's got a tuner in it, um, it wouldn't tune everything. I think it only tunes down to about three to one. But that the, the tuner's there just so I can use just about any sort of antenna on it, uh, and it seems to work quite well. Moving across, obviously the microphone, the Raspberry Pi 4 for digital modes, which I use as well as a um, Microsoft Surface. Um, or a um, iPad as the uh, as the screen um, using BNC to remote to that, and then further down inside, which you can't really see there, in the bottom there's a 12 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, uh, which will give me a good few hours operating on this, especially digital mode where I'm using less power. And there you can see the power connections, all under some power poles. Um, you've got that one which connects to the battery underneath. Uh, that's the connection for a charger. Um, then this connection is from, from the power distribution here to these two sockets at the bottom. Uh, and then one to the radio. And the reason I've done used the jumper cable here 
is because if I want to use a different power supply all I do is just plug it into there and I'm powering from another battery or mains or whatever we want and again to the radio um, power coming in that can come out so you can power from something else and all this lifts out as well I'm not going to lift it out here because it's uh, all muddy and everything um, external speaker there's a switch for a fan, I don't know if you can hear the fan there, but anyway, there's a couple of fans in the bottom to keep the radio cool when it's hot. And of course the radio, and the screen's gone, there we go. Which is held in there, um, and like I said just now, this can all lift out, this, this frame, so I can put it on a table or a bench or, or whatever I want to do with it. It doesn't have to sit in the box, and it's fitted in so that it doesn't slide around when you're, in, when you're moving it. And that's it, that's the portable station. Mike Zero, India Alpha X-ray Portable. Okay, I heard something. Uh, try it again, please. Over. Mike Zero, India Alpha X-ray Portable. Now your signal is very, very weak. Very, very weak. Over. So as you heard there with this setup, I was getting in, into South Georgia. Um, but with a weak signal. I was using about 50 watts there And as usual at the weekend, uh, there's always a contest isn't there and I wasn't able to get through any of the pile-ups to, to actually get some signal reports from any of those And using JS8 cool uh, the results were pretty disappointing So I tried some FT8 and as you can see um, I was able to have a few QSOs and um, Yeah, you, the, the antenna systems working So if you made this far Thanks very much for watching. I'll try and make some more videos when the weather improves and I'm sure the quality of the videos will improve as I get more practice. I'll leave a link below to my social media. I normally post on Instagram nearly every day so that's probably one of the best places to follow me. Okay, thanks very much everybody and I'll see you next time.